Hi, all you SPMEs out there. Today's question has three answers, and you're going to want to stick around because the third answer is a secret as to how your comic books can also be audiobooks. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So the question that was asked today was how to self-publish comic book? So the person who's asking this, clearly you've either written a comic book or you're looking at doing it, but you're wondering, is it even worth your time? Because if you do it, are you going to be able to get it onto the market? Because maybe you're doing it by hand or you've got it in the computer, but then the question is, how do you put this together into a Kindle book or a print-on-demand book? And you've got an idea in your mind what it will look like. You've seen many comic books, and as you're flipping through the pages, you're like, this is really fancy, high-quality comic book, but it seems too difficult and you just don't want to risk the failure of trying to do this project and not being able to complete it. But you know that you it's got to be possible to do it, but is it something that you'd be able to do? Well, that is what we are going to explore in today's video. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com. Click the subscribe button if you would like for me to make more videos like this one and also to help other people find this video. So just click that subscribe button and also Check out below in the description because you will find my absolutely free self-publishing checklist to ensure you are not skipping any of the important steps necessary to succeed and win in the self-publishing game. So let's get into it. In my own story, when I first started, I had a, uh, a book that one of my kids had made that was involving a series of pictures, a comic book, and putting it together into the frames into the book so that people would be able to easily read this book. And by making sure it was the correct length, it could be a paper book version and it would also be a Kindle version. And so that was the plan. It seemed easy enough. But the problem was I couldn't seem to get the formatting right. If you put it in Word, you can't just then upload it into Kindle because it comes out all of the things are all jumbled and in the incorrect locations and that creates quite a bit of a problem when you're trying to get it going. I tried a number of tools like Scribner, but I had just so many issues with that because I would try to get the formatting and try to get the paragraphs and all of these things in correct place with a table of contents and stuff, but nothing seemed to come out exactly as I wanted. Now, I read a ton of stuff. I went through a bunch of online things. I ended up actually just returning the program, but then I looked around the internet to see if anybody had found something better than that program, and they had. They had found a program called Uto, which you can find my affiliate link below in the description. That's the program that I use for all of these things. And so I started the journey on the Uto side of things in order to get this book out. And what happened was I was able to discover how I could get the formatting exactly right. I was in contact with the developer of it as well, who was able to very easily help me in this process to making sure that all of the images in the comic book were perfectly placed and in terms of where they were located and stuff. And through this process, I was able to get the book onto the market and also get print versions of it as well. And so that was what I found worked when I was trying to get the comic book. And that was probably the most pivotal thing. So how to self-publish comic book? Well, the thing is, it's the same as any other book that you're going to be doing. It obviously has more images than your average book, but maybe if you were doing a cookbook or something, you would also have some images or craft book or anything that's explaining something where they're going to want to see some images of what exactly you're doing. The second thing is you're going to need a tool, like I mentioned, Uto, to make sure that the formatting is perfect. So make sure you click on the link below, my affiliate link in the description. That's the tool I use for everything that I do and gets it into all of the different formats that I'm going to need from EPUB to Mobi, which is used on Kindle. So that's what you're gonna to wanna to check out. And the secret answer of the day is you can even get your book as an audiobook onto the on onto ACX Audible, and that's very easy. First, you need a Kindle book version of your of your book. And then the second thing is is that when you put it out there, you can include a PDF to your can to your graphic book so that they can actually follow along as they go, or they can choose to buy your Kindle book. But you want to make sure you put that in the description to warn them that obviously it's a comic book. So as they listen, they're going to they're gonna hear it. It won't be synchronized with it, but it's better than nothing. And you will be surprised that people are very interested in audiobooks, regardless of what kind of book it is, whether programming or cookbooks, people will listen to this. And so, and the same goes for your comic book. So have you tried to publish? a comic book? If yes, write the word yes below in the, in the comments. And if you've never tried it, write the word no, so that I will know whether or not this content is helpful to you and to other readers. And I should follow along in the future with something along these lines. So that will really help me out. And check up above me here for more video answers to your self-publishing questions. Thanks.